I wanted to crack top eight this season and just made it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been dreaming about this my whole life since I was a junior, so to finally be here, it's, it's amazing. We know that Hanny wants to attack. She's a very creative, skillful player, particularly across the middle, backhand volley. Gillis will look to starve that area, and you can tell that she knows she must get in front right from the word go, and just this kind of squash from Gillis is going to completely demoralise Hanny. What is unfolding here is quite an awesome rally. This is where you get both players stepping up to the plate, Hanny. Being, I feel she's being dragged into a physical area here, which is quite uncomfortable. Let's have a close look at the end of this one, Lisa. That shot, and just a slight edge of desperation about it. This is just what the doctor ordered for Gillis. It was. A bit heavy on the drop shot. Longest oh. rally by far. And the hardest working. Oh, oh, look at that. She stopped her. She completely stopped in the middle of the court. Three, it was one. absolutely jelly-legged. Oh, that line is perfect timing oh. to come up with a squeeze down the forehand side, which we've not had too many of. The drop goes. You could be sure that she was going to do that. This is tough. Gillis is not, not a, a step slower than she was from point one here in this match. Oh, the funny that, bounce. It didn't nick out. It looked like it did, but it didn't. And the error, she's done it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nila Gillis, <laughs> take a bow. Well. That was just sheer resilience. I'm a bit speechless. I'm, I'm a bit emotional. It's my first time reaching a semi-final and we played seven times on the PSA World Tour, but I think we've played about 50 times since juniors and she dropped me every single time. So to finally get a win over her on a stage like this, in a venue like this, is, feels a bit surreal right now. Just rushing Shabini all the time. Shabini's not able to get those sort of trademark positions where she can hold the snap. She's not got the speed to keep up with Gillis at the minute to put her in a position to hold. Gillis has been pretty accurate so far as well. Not interested in that one at all. Wow. And another extra bounce in Gillis' step. One game ball saved. Oh, wow, what a width, what a length. It's, that's been the key. She's hitting those marks, that back right, and not giving Shabini any room at all. I do feel if she takes too long, though, she might start to realise the position that she's in and get overwhelmed. She needs to just try and stay with the moment, take each shot as it comes. Keeps getting everything back, making Shabini hit another ball. Back it from Gillis. Oh wow, that is a super finish. And what about the retrievers, yeah. Lisa, in that Ten rally? Five. What a way to get yourself That's to match ball. ball. Unbelievable. Unreal. Unbelievable. She's never reached the platinum semi final. And now she's reached her first platinum final. The first Belgian to ever do it. It was a bit of a mix of, you know, I was very relaxed. I had nothing to lose. I just wanted to fight for every single rally and, and Shabini not being at her best. So, but you know, you still have to take those opportunities when they arise. But you know, I've, I've been visualizing for the last 24 hours and. You know, not once did it go three love. For every scenario happened, but never once did it cross my mind that I could win three love. So it's a bit surreal. And 
Yeah, I'm, I'm beyond happy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to enjoy today first, and then tomorrow morning I'll be switched on and I'll be, I'll be ready for tomorrow night. You've made history in so many ways this evening. Congratulations, we'll see you in tomorrow's final. Ladies and gentlemen, Dana Gillis. Literally, Lisa, I'd say even two years ago, I wouldn't have been seeing Nelly Gillis able to deal with the pace and hitting of Noron Gohar coming into this, obviously, the 7 0 head to head in favour of, of the Terminator. And it just looked like it was a step too far. But I mean, this is ridiculous. Once it's gone, you know where you can recover your movement pattern to retrieve it. Just approaching the 47 minute mark between these two. That'll well, be the longest match they've ever had. Six all. This is a hard rally stage of the match. Yeah, Gillis matching the pace of Gohar. Wow. Wow. Hand out. Nine, Tipping the eight. top of the tin. An error. Nayli Gillis hangs tough. I gave it my all today in the final, but Nuran was, she was just too strong today and she was relentless and, you know, all credit to her, she deserves it. Every year I love coming here, but now it def definitely has a very special place in my heart. Yeah, I'm, I'm always going to look back at this week with a very special feeling. <laughs>